So good morning, everyone. It is Vlogmas Day 12. Is it really the 12th already? Wow. We are practically halfway there. How did that happen so fast? I don't know. It's all, it's all just been kind of a blur to me. So here we are, December 12th. <laughs> so let's see what we've got for this, uh, this Zoom Zoom calendar for day 12. And I see it. Oh my goodness, it's Dale. This is definitely my new favorite. Oh my goodness. Dale with his little headband. <laughs> I thought Lady might have been my favorite, but now Dale is here, so. Getting pretty cute over here. Okay guys, it is planner time. Let's flip this over. And here's our lovely stickers for today. This one's gonna be really fun. Is that upside down? That's upside down. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Here we have it. We have the week before. Is it really the week before Christmas? Holy goodness. How did that happen so fast? I don't know. But we've got our week before Christmas spread, and it is a Christmas vacation themed one. If you have little ones watching this, you might not want them to read these quotes because it's from Christmas vacation. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. So now that I've done my planner, I think it's time to go out and run my errands for the day. So we're going to go back to the P.O. box and hope that they've sorted out whatever their issue is and do some other little last minute Christmas items, Christmas shopping things. First stop is Target. And do you think I'm escaping out of here without getting a gingerbread latte? We will see. Oh man. Target, what you trying to do to me, man? What you trying to do to me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I love it. Success. I left empty handed without a gingerbread latte. Mainly because my hands were already full with Target bags, but details, details. I mean, yeah, there is another Starbucks where I'm heading later, so the threat is still there. Okay, so it's time for another try at the post office. Let's see if the package is there this time. Let's see, that's what we needed right there. We have success. The package arrived. And if that previous clip was weird with me opening the P.O. box, it's because I opened it with like, yay, the key, and then realized we had two Christmas cards in there and I didn't wanna expose people's addresses. I'm gonna open those when we get home, but yay, Christmas cards. Makes me happy. So I survived the insanity that was the grocery store. And although I did resist real Starbucks, I did at least get this. So I felt like I deserved it after that grocery store experience. So ready to go home. So I'm back home and I have the Christmas cards here to open and the package from John to open. So uh, let's go and buy the Christmas tree and uh, see what's inside of these by the festive lights. <laughs> With Creeper Mike in the background. <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right. That was good. <laughs> Are you inspecting? Did you inspect the package? Is it okay for me to open? Okay, I think I think I have the the approval. Oh my goodness. This is the card from Tony and Lindsay and I love her card so much. It matches everything in my house this year. <laughs> it's got the car with the tree. I love it. And a very nice little card from them. Again, I am the queen of Vlogmas. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're trying, they're gonna come after me for the red cards apparently. You can try, but you won't succeed. I am the snatcher. <laughs> so then we also have a card from Amanda and Jared, which I will put a link to their channel because they're not doing Vlogmas, but they still have a channel. So, Foster's licking my hand, okay. Let's see. Aww. 
Okay, I have to like hide part of it because it's got their name on it. There's their Christmas card. How cute is that? Oh, you guys are adorable. Yay for fellow Texas Disney lover people. Yay! And Foster, I'm supposed to tell you that Archer and Arrow say hi. So say hi. Foster. Pa. Hey. Pa. <laughs> Foster. Hey. Meerkat. Good boy. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Even though you didn't give me a paw, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Did you just box me? Are you boxing me? Are you boxing me, boy? Huh? <laughs> so that leaves one thing left to open, and that is this. And it's from John. Ooh, I don't think I can do this. Well, maybe I can do it one-handed. I had a feeling there might be something more than what he told me in here. I was waiting to open it on camera. This is what I knew was coming, but I know John, and I had a feeling he was going to do more than just in that. So, oh, it's nice and soft, too. So John went to the premiere of Fantastic Beasts at Universal, and they gave out this shirt. How cute is that? I want to be a wizard. What's it got on the side? The IMAX. Yep, Fantastic and IMAX. And on the back, it's got a little Fantastic Beasts logo. That is so cool. Thank you, John. I love it. It's amazing. Let's see, what else do we have here? Aw. John got me a very Merry Christmas pin from Disney. You're too sweet. Thank you so much. I need to find out, a, I need to figure out a place to display this for Christmas. Very Merry Christmas Party 2016. That's so cool, since I obviously didn't get to go, since I'm not coming back to Florida this year anymore. That's so sweet of you. A lovely little Christmas card with a little note. I love it. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but I love it. And John actually got to meet at Halloween Horror Nights this past year, so it's really cool that I can put a face to the screen name now, and we've met, and so neat. So thank you for thinking of me with the shirt. I love it, and my pin. Very, very excited. Love my Christmas cards, and uh... Might have some Christmas cards coming back at all three of you, so uh, keep your eye out. So it is dinner time. Tonight I'm going to make the vegetable tostadas with Monterey Jack, Mexican street corn, and chipotle crema. This sounds awesome. It does have big mushrooms in there, so I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> you just say yes at my suffering? Say <laughs> <One> <laughs> so I'm a little bit concerned about the mushrooms, but... Uh, Mike is very excited about that. Also, if you wonder why I haven't shown Mike today, he's been a little busy in here <laughs> uh, in the middle of a construction project with his desk. So uh, I've just been, I've been avoiding him because this, this gives me anxiety. So I've just been letting him be in his own little room and minding my own business. And uh, yeah, so, okay, bye. to roast. Awesome. Roasted veggies, fried tostadas, street corn. Definitely, definitely right up our troll alley. Right around. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> troll. You troll. Yum. Oh, just a traditional vlogmas trip to Home Depot. I'll help Mike with his project. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. And all of their inflatables. Fuzzy dot. <gasps> bumble! I need it. I need the bumble. 
How much is the bumble? I need the bumble. How much is the bumble? <laughs> also, I like the little truck. It's cute with the yeah. presents in the back. Ballerina's a little strange, but babe, babe, how did you come here and not get the dragon? That's my question. Like, how did you come shopping here and not immediately come home with the dragon? I don't know. I don't know how you resisted. <laughs> so bumble is a hundred dollars. Do you want to just randomly throw a bumble in there? Right? You might. You might be a little too expensive for me, bumble. You might be a little above my my price range. You might be able to get my clearance after. Yes, that's what we need to do. Clearance bumble. We'll come back for you. So Mike is on a conference call right now and I'm waiting on him because tonight we have decided it's going to be mince pies night. We're finally going to try the mince pies that Dave and Steffi over at Crispy S'more sent to us and it's going to be my first ever mince pie. So I'm having to very patiently wait for him to get off the conference call that I don't know how long it's going to take. So that is painful. <laughs> so to pass the time. I brought the hat. Oh, she's gonna be so happy! Aha! The bagpipes were just a day behind, okay? What's your favorite thing? Oh, sorry, I should guess I should say. This is from Smiling Sammy123. She understands. We just had a moment. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite thing slash things about your new town slash city? What do you miss most, minus the parks, about Orlando? So, let me do Orlando first, because that one's easiest. That one's like, I know the answer to that right away. Uh, it's my friends. I really miss my little crew in Orlando, especially Michael. If you guys have been around for a while, then you know Michael was my theme park buddy. Like anytime I wanted to go to Universal or Disney, he was pretty much down and ready to go. And I don't even know if he watches these, but if you do, I love you. I miss you. So we saw each other in September, which you guys will get to see uh, when those videos start coming out in January. We went and had dinner at Boma, and of course he's usually a scare actor at Horror Night, so we saw each other in the haunted house, but only saw each other briefly outside of that because he was busy working, but it was nice to see him for a little bit. I would say the thing I miss about Orlando is that there was always something to do, and yes, that is included with theme parks, so I do miss the parks, but I miss the fact that on a random Wednesday night, if I was bored, I could be like, ah, going to Epcot tonight, see ya. Or, you know, there's always all the holiday events between SeaWorld, Universal, Disney, lots and lots of holiday events, plenty of things to do. You really couldn't be bored in Orlando. I mean, it was really hard to be bored in Orlando. So what are my favorite things about my new town slash city. I'm still figuring that out. I'm still getting used to Texas because it's kind of weird because you have to keep in mind that Mike and I were long distance for almost three years. So I've been coming to visit here for almost three years. So we've done a lot of touristy stuff when we first started dating. Like we went to an Astros game and we went to the museums. We spent time in Galveston. So a lot of the touristy stuff we did right off the bat in 2013 when we started dating. The one thing that I think has really stood out to me is that the people here are shockingly nice, which I had this happen in Colorado too. Colorado people are very nice, but coming from Orlando and Sarasota specifically, I don't want to knock all of Florida because I have lived in nice places in Florida, Gainesville for instance, a lot of nice people in Gainesville, but Orlando, I think it's because there's so many tourists in Orlando that you just get a melting pot of all people from all over the world. People don't always mesh well together. It seems like a lot of angry people in Orlando. And then Sarasota, it's a lot of angry old people. So <laughs> I went from living in two places where people were angry all the time to coming here where people are generally very nice. I think I had a perception of Texas as being kind of, you know, the stereotype cowboys, good old boy type place, but that's not the case for Houston at all. I mean, there's definitely some big trucks and, and that kind of thing, but in general, it's a big city. It's the fourth largest city in the United States, so it is quite the melting pot. He's off the phone, which means mince pies time. Here they are, straight from Dave and Staffy. Oh, well, there's already a rip in it. I think I jingled it too much. I jingled too much. Yeah, our foster's just gonna casually pretend 
He's stretching for kisses. And then look mm, over on the table. What What's it's over so here? Hmm. Oh yeah, no, I was just here for you. I definitely wasn't sniffing what was on the table. Okay, here we go. Cheers. I didn't even get that on camera. Cheers. <laughs> Mince pie time. Okay. Okay, Dave. I see you. I see you. I understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Dave and Stevie. So the mince pies get an A+. Plus. Those are awesome. I can understand why Dave loves them so much. So if you guys just want to send us some of those like every Christmas. Christmas? <laughs> Mike wants a monthly package. I'm not sure if you could hear him. He's like, Psh, send them every month. Once a month, mince pie delivery. <laughs> so I think that is going to wrap things up for today. But we will see you guys again for more Vlogmas adventures tomorrow. Bye.